Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Simple Planes video. Today we are going to be building a carrier plane. This was actually a suggestion on my previous video where we actually did the German Corsair, which people seem to be upset about anyway. Um, it was actually suggested by Prius Power, which, you know, I'm kind of upset about that name. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to be attempting to build a World War II looking carrier plane. It's not designed up anything specific, it's just going to be a World War II carrier plane. So, I guess let's get on with it. Okay, so from my memory, uh, what, a lot of World War II carrier planes actually looked quite ugly. Uh, in terms of, they were like quite short, but quite like fat, I guess. I don't know whether that's the right word to use, but like, they were sort of like massive. Like chunks that just flew through the sky, which is, um, I don't know whether that's a, <laughs> a bad thing or not. I have no idea, but, um, ours is going to be a chonker as well, because, um, it should be, I think. Uh, and there we go. So, um, I do want to do kind of like a quick build, so this shouldn't really take us too long. Um, but again, it's been quite a while since I've built anything good, I guess, uh, in Simple Planes. So, this might look bad, but it also might look okay. I don't know. Okay, so I'm thinking we have, like, this bit at the front go a little bit smaller every time, uh, but also go a little bit smaller like this, too. In fact, we're going to do it uh, better than that. We're going to go like that. There we go. Uh, so every time we go to this way, we go to this way, and we go to this way. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. And then we add another one. We go forwards. We go one, two, one, two. Uh, backwards, one, two. There we go. Yes. So, actually, we don't need this one. We don't need this one because the engine probably fits inside of there. So we'll use the engine. Here we go. This one. Good. Uh, we need it to go backwards um, a lot, actually. Oh, that's not backwards. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on a second. What's backwards? Is it Q? Shift Q. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Epic. Yep. Uh, so that looks really bad, uh, and the reasoning is, uh, I don't know, what is the reasoning on that? That looks really bad. I'm not sure why, though. You know, I think it's because the this bit needs to be bigger, but I, I, I really don't know. Should we just leave it as it is for now, uh, and then if we need to change it in the future, we will. So, we'll leave it like that. We'll then take this backwards. It's not going to be a very big plane, as you guys probably already realized, uh, but we're going to go backwards like this. We're going to go backwards one. All right, there we go. Two. Good. Add another piece. One, two, three. One, two, three. And yeah, that's going to be like our fuselage right there. I think that looks quite good, actually. We're actually going to make it skinnier as well towards the back. So if we go forwards, we're going to make it skinnier there. We're actually going to start making it skinnier here. Uh, and I think that's actually quite a good shape, I, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to make these look beautiful, but um, we're trying our best. Anyway, one, two, one, two. Maybe even more, actually. We'll bring it back down to this. Make it skinnier. Or, or smaller, sorry. Um, and then we just need to, like, finish it up. So, backwards. Here we go. Add a section. Make it tiny. All right, backwards. Really small. Here we go. Add a piece. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, so there's our main fuselage. I think that looks all right. Yeah, why not? All right, so the next, uh, like, prominent thing on these things is usually the cockpit. They're usually quite, like... Um, quite big, uh, I'd say. So we're gonna go with quite a big one. Here we go. We're gonna go backwards. We're gonna make this smaller. Um, and actually, we're gonna do it in separate pieces. So this is gonna be like 1.25. We'll go ahead and paint it before we actually put it in. Hold on, custom. Oop, there we go. Uh, and I guess we'll make it like super shiny. There we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so that's super shiny. We ju just need to put it in now. So S... Here we go. That should go down. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Um, not the best, though. Is the front different to the back? 275. Yeah, it is. All right. There we go. Nice. Something like that. If we have it go down a little bit more. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it should be a little bit more boxy, actually. Let's make it, like, smooth and... St oh, curved. Yeah, that works. Curved. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, okay. Forwards. Add a section. Make it tiny. There we go. Uh, bring it backwards. Oh, this could be quite cool in the end. It's going to be very simple, but, you know, we're playing simple planes. So I guess it doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, 
Semi-gloss, sure. Uh, and that's that's all right. Good. We're then going to add... Uh, this should probably be smaller, actually, you know. Let's make it, like, 0 0.1. There we go. Yeah, okay, that's good. Add a piece to the front. We're not going to make it 0 0.1. Probably something like uh, 0.75. There we go. All right, take it forwards. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Come on. Yes. Wait, I just pressed W. There we go. All right, cool. So we'll have this. We'll obviously make the front smaller as it goes forwards like that. Oh, this is going to look quite cool. Uh, we need to paint that, obviously. So we'll we'll paint it as we go along. And that'll be fine. Yeah, cool. All right, so I've just grabbed the uh, the skinny one from the front. We're now going to put it on the back uh, if we possibly can. So we're going to bring it forwards to about there. And then we're just going to take it down. Here we go. Okay, make sure it's in the right place. I actually like there being like some sort of little lip uh, right here because it gives it a little bit of texture. I think that's quite a cool idea. Anyway, uh, we're going to move on forwards and hopefully we can make this all right. So we'll spin this around. All right, backwards it's two and two five. So we want to go probably like one and one five. Yeah, I think that's probably small enough. Um, we could put another piece in the middle, but I'm not going to. We're just going to use this. All right, here we go. Down and whoa, forwards. Here we go. Yes. Now up again. All right, perfect. And then forward slightly like that. Yeah, that'll do. All right, down one maybe. Yeah, that's good. Uh, if we can add a piece to the front, we will. And then forwards, down to zero, down to zero. And that looks all right, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's got quite a fat cockpit, but I think that's right. I'm pretty sure that's right. I don't know. We'll leave it as is. They've usually got, like, quite long cockpits, too. So we're actually going to take this piece. We're going to move it backwards. All right. If we can put it in the center, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll move it down and forwards from there, but here we go. Down. Forwards. Oh, wait. We can do it at the same time. That's interesting. All right. Here we go. Down, 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 down. There we go, we're behind. That's epic. And then go backwards. And yeah, there we go. Backwards again, close it off. And voila! That looks pretty good to me. I think that like actually looks pretty cool. Um, what color should the plane be? I know the Americans usually go with this as like a, a, a normal color. Uh, and in fact, if it wasn't so metallic, it would be a decent color for it. But since it's going to be our cockpit, we're going to leave it like that. Um... I don't know what color to use. We could, of course, just go with, like, a gray, I suppose. Like this. Um, I don't know. Should we go with... I think it should be, like, sort of bluish. Sort of blue. Like that, I guess. But, like... No, it needs to be, like, more gray blue. Hmm... I don't know. Maybe we should just go with green. <laughs> I, I usually go revert back to the green instantly, but I don't know. I can't seem to make, like, good colors here. I'm not very good with colors. Maybe maybe that color. Oh, that looks all right. Yeah. doesn't really look like a navy plane, but that looks okay to me. Yeah. Um. So we're obviously going to change the trims at the front. Primary. Oh, we don't really want that. Actually, we do. We do. We'll have that like that. And then we'll have trim one, not be pink, but be a different color. Maybe even a red, like this. Yeah, okay. Trim two can be black. Uh, yeah, that's right. And trim three can be... Oh, I don't really know what color the propellers usually are. It's usually like... that they're, they're usually black, right? But I don't know. Let's go with this. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that looks okay. Cool. I'm actually really pleased with this so far. All right, so while we're in the middle of this, let's go ahead and move this forwards, put it inside of here. No, save aircraft, we don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> here we go, put that back down. Awesome. There we go, right, it's inside, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna quickly paint these bits back here. Uh, all, yeah, there we go, good. And that's fine by me, I think that looks epic. All right, so, I don't know what kind of wing shape to go for here, but we definitely need some wings. Okay, right, so up, here we go, plus we need to go backwards, it's a sub-assembly, it's A1 wing, so this is a slightly modified wing that I use all the time, use, use all the time, uh, and we're going to put it right here, so 
Uh, front of the cockpit, yes, to about there. That looks that looks fine, actually. Um, they usually go, like, forwards and up. Or, like, almost forwards and up kind of thing. So we're going to do something similar. So we'll do that. We want to add a dihedral, which is this. There we go. Um, and that, to me, looks fine. So we'll just put the roll at the edge like this. We're not going to have any flaps because we don't really need them. Uh, shift it sideways. Well, that's forwards. Backwards. In. Here we go. Inwards. There we go. Good. Going back on the other side. Amazing. They might be a bit big. <laughs> they might be a little bit big. Okay, maybe something like... Oh, I don't know. Like this? I'm not very good with getting, like, the sizes, right? But I'm thinking something like that. That's probably good enough. Alright, cool. Get the green. Paint them. There we go. Go ahead and put some on the back as well. They might even need to be smaller than that, you know. That's quite big still. It is. Alright, put this back to the middle. Good. Make it obviously smaller. In some capacity. A little bit smaller would be good. Alright, we don't want it to be huge. Alright, it is also going to go down slightly too. So, remember that. Um, flat bottom, no. Symmetrical, yes. It's going to be your... There we go. We're going to make it slightly bigger. There we go. Nice. All right, cool. So, we obviously want to take this downwards. So, we'll press S. There we go. Nice. We'll go ahead and put this on the top. Edit the wing a bit. Bring it back to there. Bring that back to a point. And that looks okay to me as well. Nice. Yeah. Okay, these wings are too big. These wings are far too big. I don't know how to make them look nicer, though, but they are a little bit too long. There. Well, maybe do that. That might look better. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, leave it as is. There, like that one. All right, cool. Because now it's got really tiny wings. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that works. It works a little bit better than it did, <laughs> which I suppose is fine. Uh, forwards, three. Three. Okay, circular, circular. Good. We're going to bring this down to, like, one. Actually, even less than one. 0.5, yes. 0.5 on this side as well. Yes. Uh, length, very short. I just want the wings to look a little bit better than they do currently. Um, let's go with two, actually. Yeah, two and two. Okay. We obviously need it to rise a little bit. And then if we put this in here. All right, make it go backwards. Shift S. Uh, it needs to go down and backwards. There, yes. And then we've obviously got this as well, run, which makes it go backwards too. Yeah, and then if we lengthen it, we can actually make it do the entire wing. Uh, just like that. There we go. All right, amazing. Cool. I uh, will put that on the other side. Oh, it looks ugly though, doesn't it? It looks really bad. I'm not very good at doing this. Uh, I don't know whether you guys can tell. <laughs> uh, right, okay, hold on. Forwards, if we do this... Might be better. So if we just shove it on there again. Yeah. Alright. Make it go down. Make it go inwards. Okie dokie. Yeah, like that. Okay. Uh, make it go down a bit more. Uh-huh. And there we go. Okay, that's quite cool. If we make it go up. Rise. Yeah. Does any, any pop out the bottom? I don't think so. Uh, oh, we need to change it slightly. Alright. Not point 0.8. Not point 0.9. There we go. Not point 0.9. Perfect. Good. So now our wings are quite chubby. Um, oh, they need to go in though still. Whoops. All right. Here we go. In. Which means we need it to be a little bit longer. Okay. That's good. Delete this one. Put this on the other side. And voila. Good. I think that works. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we need to do this pretty much on the back, which is going to be almost exactly the same as the, the, the tail fin, um, but slightly bigger. I'm going to go with like one bigger on each thing. There we go. Uh, even one bigger here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yo, no, it's going to be pitch. We're going to edit the thing. Yeah. A bit bigger. In fact, we're not going to have a dihedral on it, but I need it to be bigger by one. There we go. Okay, move this inwards. Here we go. Put it on the other side as well. Okay, grab this. Put it on there. 
obviously edit it so it's big enough. There we go, good. Put that on the other side as well. And voila, we've got a plane that should work. Maybe. Okay, so final things. Landing gear. We're just going to add these ones. All right, hopefully we can put them in the right place. Um, Shift, W. Okay, and E. Here we go. Going to be quite close to the front. Shift, W again. There we go. Bam. We're on both sides. Interesting. Did I paint this wing? It's not even attached. Not even attached. Hold on. Um, there used to be an easy way of doing it. Oh, I don't know. Did I do this one first? Is that alright? I think that's alright. And then we need a back landing gear. Which is going to be a bit of an issue. But still. Here we go. I think we're going to use this. We're going to use one of these. Yeah, we are. Uh, shift. W. Okay, shift E. Alright, fantastic. W a bit more. We're not going to have any doors. But that's going to be fine. And then we need the arresting hook to go behind there. And be on a number. Alright, yeah, perfect. So that's going to go down on one. Uh, we need to paint the landing gear so it fits. Hold on. Primary. Yep. Primary. Yep, good. Uh, secondary, I'll trim one. Is the wheels. There we go. And that's it. Right, good. We've done it. We've got a carrier plane. Oh. <laughs> we have a bit of an issue. The things fell off. The wheels fell off. And the, the wings themselves fell off. Oh, that's not good. Alright, here we go. So, uh, if we just launch, I guess this will be fine. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, yeah. There we go. We're in the sky. Okay. I haven't modified the... Um, Anything. <laughs> I haven't modified the anything. I haven't modified the power uh, on the engine. I've kept it uh, the same as normal. I might have to raise this up. It looks a bit weird there. But uh, essentially, all I want to do now is I want to turn around and I want to land. So let's try that. All right, here we go. Landing gear is going to go down. We obviously don't have any flaps. I didn't build any. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop this down as Oh, wow, that's quite far. We need to raise that up. We definitely do. Uh, but essentially, this should be pretty easy to do. We should be able to land this, I don't know, like straight away, first time, without exploding. Although, I suppose, if the shocks go in a little bit, our engine will explode. Yeah, because we've, we've, we've done that pretty close. Oh god, it's pretty wobbly. Pretty wobbly. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. See, I... I mm. The wobbling is a bit of an issue. We need to change the center of mass. In fact, let's do that now. You know what? I'm also gonna increase the the engine as well. We're gonna we're gonna change it. Two thousand horsepower, sure. Uh, we can change the blade diameter and the blade thickness. I think it needs to be fatter. There we go. Uh, and that looks alright. Yeah. How do I show the center of mass and everything? I can't remember. Is it this? Oh, what is this? What's that? Oh God. Uh, no wait. How do I show the center of mass? I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we want it to be slightly further back than that. I'm pretty sure it's the red one. Whoa. Whoops. Okay, the red one. So, oh, it's gone again. It's gone. Hold on. How did I get it up last time? Oh, what am I doing? How did I get it up last time? Oh, here it is. Right, okay. So, the red one. I'm going to put the red one on the blue one. And then I'm going to hope for the best. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Here we go. Dead weight. And a little bit more dead weight. There we go. We're going to put them directly on top of each other. And I'm sure that'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Throttle up. We're going to be faster than last time. Although we're going to have more weight than last time. And... Okay, probably a little bit too much there. <laughs> probably a little bit too much weight. Uh, okay. Well, we'll go with... We'll go with this. In fact, we'll lower this down a little bit too. There we go, 600. We don't know where it is, but that's fine. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Uh, too much weight. Too much weight again. Yeah, too much. What am I doing? Hold on. What? So, that's too much weight right there. Really? Okay. And then if we do this, we'll go to the back line of the cockpit. 150 pounds. Go. All right, we've launched. Here we go. Yes. 
Okay, we're now aiming at the ground a little bit instead of anything else, but we are working. All right, fantastic. I'm going to change uh, one more thing. I'm going to raise the tail hook up. Um, so shift W. Here we go. There. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, hopefully this works. All right, our landing gear folds up perfectly. That's fine. We're going to continue to turn around and then we're going to just put it down. It's going to be easy, right? Super easy. All right, here we go. Landing gear is going to go down. We're going to go ahead and turn ourselves around into it. Yes. All right. All the landing gear is down. We're going to press one. So we lower this as well. Maybe that should be on G. Maybe that should automatically go down as well. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to throttle down. We don't have any air brakes or anything like that. So we're going in at 200 miles an hour, which is a bit fast. A little bit fast for, for us, to be honest. 160. That, that seems about right. Okay. Let's go ahead and put on the joystick control. Here we go. We're going to land using our, our mouse instead. Ah! Okay, I can't land. I can't land carrier planes. Especially this one that I built. Uh, but that was sort of expected. Um, well, anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. I think we were sort of successful with, with what we actually planned. Uh, which was to build a carrier plane. That was sort of World War II themed. We could put guns on it. Should we put guns on it too? I don't know. That'll be something for the future. If we ever do. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate you guys. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. You know what? I just painted it. And uh, I realize now why it was so difficult for me to land. I mean, did you see how close that was to the ground? The, the, back, the back wheels are too big and also, like, too far down. So, you know what? I'm going to edit that. And then we're going to try one more landing. All right, there we go. Look at that. So, the propeller is a little bit more off the ground. Uh, the back wheel is a lot further, like, up, and, um, I think that'll work better. Yeah, I might even make the blade a little bit smaller, too. Alrighty, here we go. So the blade is a lot smaller, now it's not gonna just smack into the ground, hopefully. Uh, we're taking off without... Oh, God. Yeah, we're taking off without a, uh, catapult. And it should be fine, right? It should be more than powerful enough to do this. Here we go. Yep, we're in the air. Alright, epic. Cool, so... Let's turn ourselves around, get lined up, and land it. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we have a slight issue. The wheel actually comes through the roof and ends up there. <laughs> um, not the best, but uh, I suppose that's okay. Yeah. All right, landing gear is going to go down. The arresting hook is going to go down. There's the back... Oh, God, the back landing gear is so much lower. Oh, that's not good, actually. That's really, really bad. Because as soon as this hook touches... Oh, we're going to have a bad time. Um, right, okay, here we go. Whoa, okay. We're gonna use this mode again. Here we go. Oh god, I should be slowing down too. Ugh. Ugh. I missed. I missed. I missed all of them. Oh, I missed all of them. Oh, we still exploded, but we have... Landed. Oh, that's why we exploded. Look at that. It's, yeah. It keeps us in the air even though it's... It's just a hook. All right, okay, interesting. All right, so I have changed that. There you go. That's how high it goes now. Beautiful. I think that's okay. Uh, well, anyway, I am actually going to end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.